Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Have you heard about the agreement that global leaders adopted at the United Nations during the 2023 SDG summit that was held earlier this week? On Monday and Tuesday, officials from all over the world gathered in New York City to commit their nations to fully implement the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals over the next seven years. If you are not familiar with the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, you can find them on the official website, sdgs.un.org. They are essentially a blueprint for how the globalists want the world to be run. Just about every area of human activity is covered by the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, and it would take extreme measures over the next seven years in order to achieve all of them by the deadline. But that was what the 2023 SDG Summit was all about. Leaders from all over the world got together and pledged to do whatever is necessary to meet those goals on time. They are calling it a new phase of accelerated progress. The following comes directly from the official UN webpage about the summit. The 2023 SDG summit took place on 18 to 19 September 2023 in New York. It marked the beginning of a new phase of accelerated progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals, with high-level political guidance on transformative and accelerated actions, leading up to 2030. Convened by the President of the General Assembly, the summit marked the halfway point to the deadline set for achieving the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. It was the centerpiece of the high-level week of the General Assembly. It responded to the impact of multiple and interlocking crises facing the world and is expected to reignite a sense of hope, optimism, and enthusiasm for the 2030 Agenda. The globalists really do intend to implement the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals by the time the UN General Assembly convenes in September 2030. That is just seven years from now, and so, the clock is ticking. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. During the 2023 SDG Summit, global leaders adopted a sweeping political declaration in which they committed themselves to achieving the 17 Sustainable Development Goals within the next seven years. Kicking off the second half of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, world leaders at the SDG Summit 2023 today adopted a sweeping political declaration to reaffirm their shared commitment to end poverty and hunger everywhere, combat inequalities within and among countries, and build peaceful societies that leave no one behind. The adoption of the 10-page document by the heads of state and government and high representatives gathering at the United Nations headquarters in New York came at a critical juncture as global crises, including armed conflict, adverse climate impacts, and the lingering effects of the CV-19, threatened the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. The political declaration is 10 pages long, and you can read it for yourself on this website, hlpf.un.org. On the fifth page of the document, we are told that there is an urgent need to take the actions necessary to reverse declines and accelerate progress to achieve the 2030 Agenda and implement the SDGs. So, what will it look like as we accelerate progress toward those goals? Well, as Paul Joseph Watson has reported, a 20 miles per hour speed limit is being slapped on every single residential road in Wales. How would you feel if every single road in your community had a 20 miles per hour speed limit? Unfortunately, extreme measures such as this will soon be implemented all over the world. The globalists are absolutely determined to meet their climate goals, and all the rest of us will suffer as a result. 
On the 10th page of the document that the global leaders at the UN just adopted, the Summit of the Future in 2024 is referenced. We look forward to the Summit of the Future in 2024 as an important opportunity to, inter alia, accelerate the implementation of the 2030 Agenda and its SDGs. This exceedingly important meeting will be held just two months before the next presidential election in the United States. At that gathering, UN member states are scheduled to adopt something called a Pact for the Future. You can read about the Summit of the Future and the Pact for the Future on the official UN website, UN.org. On that page, the UN openly admits that one of the purposes of the Summit of the Future is to put in place a stronger international response playbook for complex global shocks, maximizing the use of the Secretary General's convening power in the form of an emergency platform. I have talked about this emergency platform that is being proposed before. Essentially, if there is any sort of a major global shock, the United Nations will be given authority to ensure there is a unified global response to the crisis. So, what kind of a global shock would trigger these emergency powers? Well, a UN policy paper that was published some time ago explained that a future pandemic, a major event in outer space, or even unforeseen risks, would all qualify. Ultimately, just about any sort of a crisis at all could be used to justify activating this new emergency platform. And once it is activated, officials at the UN would have the power to extend the emergency powers that they have been given indefinitely. Needless to say, this is an extremely frightening proposal. We definitely do not want the UN to have emergency powers over the entire world that could be extended indefinitely. Sadly, the Biden administration is fully behind this plan. And next September, the US will agree to adopt the Pact for the Future. Of course, this is why they are rushing to get this done. With Biden in the White House, the globalists are able to greatly advance their agenda. But, honestly, whoever the president is, it will be the same. So, time is of the essence. I wish that more Americans understood what the globalists are trying to do, but unfortunately the mainstream media barely talks about any of this at all. We live in such perilous times, and those that wish to erode our freedoms are absolutely relentless. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.